وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله I made a video I explained about the nature and the background of Christmas being Saturnalia being a pagan festival a lot of Christians they try to deny it they made videos on top of mine saying no that's not true I gave you evidences, I gave you references from National Geographic, an uncommon history of common things. But people still try to deny it. Now, listen to one of the leading Christian voices in America, the Baptist minister, the, the leading conservative evangelical minister, Pat Robertson, tell you himself where is the history of Christmas? Right. Okay, this is David who says, we have friends who do not celebrate Christmas because they say December 25th is really a pagan holiday. While I agree that Jesus may not have been born on December 25th, he certainly was born as described in the Bible. How do I respond to them? Well, in a sense, tell them they're right. Uh, you see, the, the, the winter solstice a couple of days later was the shortest day of the year. And the pagans had something called Saturnalia. And it was a time of lawlessness because all the laws were suspended. And people, the, a bunch of singers were actually wandered the streets naked singing. And, and then they had orgies, sexual orgies. It was a mass thing. Well, when the Catholic Church came along in Italy, the, the Romans and others didn't want to give up their holidays. So they said, okay, we'll Christianize it. And uh, so they said, okay, we'll say the birth of Jesus was the 25th of December. They, and then there was a, a monk who began to add it up. You see, uh, if you read in Luke, it, it says there's a census taken when Quirinius was governor and so forth and so on. And uh, they, they could take those leaders and figure the exact time dating from the foundation of Rome. And that's when the dates were established. And so they get pretty close to the date. But uh, to say it's the 25th, shepherds are out abiding in the field. It gets a little cold at night. I mean, were they out there in the middle of winter? I, you know, I, I don't know. I've been out there on the shepherd's field and on Christmas Eve. It's very nice. But it's cold. And nevertheless, I mean, what was going on? So all this business about mistletoe, pagan. Christmas trees, pagan. Giving out gifts, pagan. Every bit of it is pagan. Every single bit of it is pagan. We've Christianized it all. And uh, so that's good. And so we have time. We celebrate for Jesus. And everybody gets all misty-eyed. But the truth is, we, they're all pagan. <laughs> but the Now you hear him? You see that? They know where Saturn, they know the tree, the gifts, the, all of these are pagan rituals. They know that this is paganism and they're still teaching it to you. They're still pushing it down your throat. They're still fooling you into thinking that Christmas has anything to do with Jesus. Isa ibn Maryam, Jesus, we love him. And we know from history, from biblical references about the shepherds and when they were out, that he was born in the summer. Christmas has nothing to do with Jesus. It's a pagan ritual that you guys are being taught. Now, knowing this, is he still going to follow it or not? Listen to him. When you're putting your tree up. Huh? <laughs> I've got, you know, I finally got one of those fake trees, and it's beautiful. <laughs> it's already pre-lit, and you just plug those little the joints best. in, yeah, stick it up, and <laughs> plug them in, and whoosh, all of a sudden you've, you've got a riot of light. I like all the decorations. The Founders Inn is just loaded with decorations. Very pretty. But pagan. <laughs> you see, he knows it's pagan, but he still does it. Churches know this is paganism and they still do it because they don't really believe in Jesus. They don't follow Jesus. They don't follow the message of Jesus. Peace and blessings be upon him. We as Muslims are the true followers of all the prophets. We are the true followers of Jesus, of Moses, of Abraham and Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon them. We worship that one God that they worship and we call you to reject paganism, to reject idolatry and to follow the true religion that Abraham, Moses, Jesus and Muhammad, peace be upon them and all the prophets brought. 
the religion of monotheism, the religion of Islam. We want you to be a Muslim as Jesus was a Muslim, as I am a Muslim, and as Muslims follow that true religion. We want you to follow the same religion and, and worship that one true God. No idols, no paganism, no rituals that came from that. Follow the truth. Allahu Akbar.